कम बैक सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल ग्रेट पीपल आई विल से ऑन द नाव कम्युनिटी हु क्रिएट्स रियली ग्रेट आर्टिकल एंड विच दो आर्टिकल क्रिएट गिव अ ग्रेट लर्निंग टू अर्स सो टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन वन ऑफ सच आर्टिकल विच इज क्रिएटेड बाई साइकोमा एंड विच यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन सो दिस आर्टिकल टॉक्स अबाउट हाउ वी कैन सबमिट अ कैटलॉग रिक्वेस्ट यूजिंग सर्विस कैटलॉग ए पी एच ओके एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल I find it very useful because whenever I am working on a catalog items, okay, it's really tedious for me to every time whenever I am doing trial and error to go back to the service catalog, go to the service portal, create a request and all those things. If I want to verify certain things on the back end, so what this particular article talks about is like how you know, we can submit request item, okay, using a service catalog API, and I will give you a demonstration for the same. First of all, thanks a lot. Time for creating such a wonderful article. So let's get started. So, for example, if I want to submit a request for, I will go to maintain items. Let's take some some example. So, for example, we want to um, raise a request for standard laptop, and we'll be doing it from the REST API Explorer. Okay. will i will be showing you step by step so it has couple of variables you can see over here the variables are do you want to do you want to install adobe acrobat do you want to install photoshop and all the things and i will get the packet name also for the same so if i go over here display name i mm -hmm. I'll take this pen name also. And what is the field name for the same? Hmm. Two. I think this is the one. Name. Got it. So I will take this pen name and name. So that we will get the back end because we will be driving everything from back end, right? So we want to know what is the back end value for the same. So these are the back end values. Let's get started. So first step is like we have to go to REST API Explorer. So let's go to that Explorer. In the uh, main intention from this. Uh, today is like we want to create a request item from the request ex uh, REST API Explorer without any intervention on the service portal or catalog native view anything like that. So over here in the namespace you can go for S N underscore S C which is which stands for service catalog. So this will give the list of all the APIs which are created internally out of the box for service catalog. and as you must be knowing that whenever we use any catalog item there are two steps one is like we add the th add all the components to the cart okay whatever we want to order for okay we add it to the cart and then we will submit the request we will be doing the same two step approach okay for this also we will be adding it to the cart first and then we will be creating a request out of it so just let's check there are a lot of a lot of epas okay for the same but we will be looking for add item to the cart because as a first step we want to add uh, we want to fill the cart okay now it asks for the attribute called society now what this society talks about what exactly this is right so we want to raise a request for this particular catalog item so it asks for the society of this catalog item so i will take it from here you can do right click and do copy society also and i will be putting it over here Now the second step, okay, is to create a request body. Okay. Request body is also pretty simple. We will go to the raw, okay, and we will copy the format which is given by Sai, okay. Then I will explain you what exactly there, what exactly is there, okay. So basically, it has couple of attributes. So the first attribute talks about sysparam quantity. So how many quantity? For example, this particular catalog item is for standard laptop. So how many laptop you want to order? One, two, three, four. So you can give any integer, but it should not. It should be non-negative, okay? Because negative integer doesn't make any sense. Then the second 
it's a JSON object, okay, inside a JSON, which calls variables, which refers to, which points to the variables which are created on the catalog form. So as I've sh shown you earlier, if I go back and to the catalog item, and you can see there are variables like Acrobat, Photoshop, okay, and additional software requirement. So the same are used over here. So whenever you are working with other catalog items also, so you can define the attributes of variables which are there for that particular catalog item. No display value, it should be a backend name. Okay. So I've given, yes, I want to install Acrobat readers also. I want to install Photoshop also and in additional software requirement. I just gave some description because it's an open text field. Now we'll run this out. So if I send this out, let's see what happens. So we got a response 200. That means everything is okay. This is our request body. Okay. We got the cart ID also. Okay. okay. This is the cart ID. This is the subtotals, all these things. Okay. Catalog item ID and all these things. Now, does it mean that we have uh, added things to the cart and it, it must have created a request item? Let's verify that also. So for that, we will go over here and you must be knowing the backend name for request item. So it's sc underscore request underscore item dot list. Sorry, I'm actually, I use a lot of shortcuts while using. So yeah. So you can see we ordered the add to cart API, but it didn't create any request item. Why it didn't create a request item? Because whenever oh, whenever we add the things to the cart, it doesn't make any sense till the time we submit that order. Okay. So the next thing what we have to do is like submit order. So we'll go back to the REST API Explorer and we'll start searching the another API. So what the another API should be? It should be submit order. So let's go and find submit order. Now the cart is already filled. Okay, now we are just submitting the order. So if I scroll down, up, up, so I got a catalog, uh, I got an API called submit order. Now this particular API doesn't ask you for input, any input parameter. Why? Because it's a session based thing for this particular session, the cart is already filled. Now it considers that it will be performing the action of a U what exactly your UI action performs on the catalog form, which is submit. So we will be simply nothing to be filled over here. We will be simply submitting the order. So I will send it out. Yes, I want to modify the data and ideally it should go well. So we can see 200. Okay. Everything goes well. It states that request item got created and request ID is this. Okay. So let's take this request ID request and see if our request got created. So I'll go back. I will just go to global search and find and it created the request. Wow. Now let's see whether everything is good with this particular request. So we will check what things you should check in order to verify the things. So first is show workflow, whether the workflow is attached properly, it's, everything is good with the workflow or not. So I did the show workflow. It's loading the workflow and it seems the workflow has been attached. Okay. So no issues I can see if, if it gets loads. Okay. If it gets loads, then there is no issue with the workflow. So as you can see, yes, the request got set, requested, everything. So everything seems fine over here. And we have approval also triggered. We will verify that also. So let's uh, verify the approvals also. If I scroll down, yeah, the approval is also requested perfect. Now we'll go to the request item to see if the request item is fine. We'll go to the request item. The request item, till now everything seems to okay. We have raised the request for a standard laptop. This is also perfect. And variables, whatever we have set, Acrobat. Uh, Adobe Acrobat is true, Photoshop is true, and also we whatever we have provided as a software requirement description. So everything seems to be working fine, right? 
so this is the way which you should use when you are doing a lot of iterations a lot of testing uh, on on a development side not when you are a tester okay and develop as a developer to just submit the request and see how exactly it's working i'll be this is a use case for me maybe there is another use case for you right but i find it pretty useful so thanks a lot sai again hope you all like this video okay hope you will be using this api somewhere in your project okay and please please keep on creating this kind of content which will be helpful for others like me 